All right, last part here. We're, we're trying to determine whether or not we can assume the given statement. So we're going to use this green diagram. And let's look at CD and HC. So CD and HC. They ask, are those perpendicular? Well, if they are perpendicular, I should see a red 90 degree angle mark somewhere in this area. But that's not given to me, so I cannot assume that. Number 20, plane S and plane T are perpendicular. Again, that means they form a right angle. That's our symbol for perpendicular, that upside down T. And I see a right angle symbol here, and it appears that that's telling me my planes are actually perpendicular. They form a right angle. Number 21 points C, D, and H are coplanar. This is probably the trickiest one. So if you notice, C and H are on this intersection line, which means they're both on the vertical plane, and they're also both on the horizontal plane. So C, B, and H are on both planes. And that's very important here. So I want to know, are they on the same plane as letter D, as point D? Well, if they're on both planes, then they've got to be on the plane that D is on. So I'm asking you, C, B, and H, they're on both planes because they lie on that intersection line. So if they're on both planes, if they are on the horizontal plane and the vertical plane, are they on the horizontal plane? And the answer there is yes. Pause the video, try 22 and 23, and then unpause to check your work. This is asking if my two lines are, or not my two lines, my two angles rather, are supplementary. So do they form a straight line? And they do. Supplementary, add to 180, form a straight line. And HBF, CBF are vertical angles? No, they are a linear pair. All right, and that's how we determine whether or not statements are true 